Primary living examination results have exposed most of the public schools in Toro municipality after registering poor performance. A number of urban-based government-aided primary schools in the municipality performed poorly, with none of them registering a first division. The decline in this performance has stakeholders within the municipality with no alternative but to enforce a school feeding program through food contribution. So parents, we have to play our parts as parents. We have to care for this, our children. What room are you working for? What, who are you, what, who are you? the future? Our future lies on our children. If you can't raise money, sit down with the school management committee and agree amicably what you can do, whether to bring a certain amount of beans and portion so that our children can have something to eat. There are currently three out of 17 government-aided primary schools said to be partially feeding their school children. 85% of our children do not have midday meals. Even when the bylaws have already been set and the district ordinance has already been spelled out, our parents believe feeding of children is optional. Toro Municipality Member of Parliament disclosed this while awarding 300 pupils from private and government schools that excelled in the 2022 primary living examinations. If you bring your child, you must definitely feed them. These bylaws you have to bite. Because you cannot, when you are children at home, you are feeding them. When they are at school, you don't want to pay attention to them. Really, how will they learn? It's here that both political and technical leaders agreed to come up with harsh punishment to the parents who will not support their children with food while at school. I want to, to, to inform the parents that this time round, as the authority, Western Division, municipality, we are fighting so much to see that we increase on the performance, we improve on the performance of our results. Because I want to inform you, our people haven't performed to So as the term continues, we are going to go around, me together with my school board, we are going to make sure every school gives us the update on who, which parent has paid what and which In the recent PLE exams, Toro Municipality registered 2,027 candidates, of whom 550 scored between Division 